Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sabelo Tele from the University of the Free State, and I'm going to be presenting on a computational modeling of a prototypical photocatalyst. And this project is a theoretical study, and we're trying to model a photocatalyst which consists of zeolite Y, rutile titanium dioxide, copper 5 cluster, and carbon dioxide. The motive of this study is to the motive of this project is to study the reduction of carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide and oxygen on a copper five cluster supported inside the zeolite and titanium complex. Uh, DFT calculations were performed using Orca software to do geometrical optimization and a single point calculation. Different beta sets were used for different calculation. Some calculation they used SVP which is a normal or double basis set and some calculation they use a dual basis set where it's they use the, the double plus a triple basis set and then dispersion correction which is d3 bj was used for other calculation and also not used for other calculation and the constraints were different across the calculations some calculation only zeolite was constrained which means titanium dioxide plus copper 5 was allowed to optimize and then for some calculations, zeolite plus titanium dioxide was constrained, which means only copper five was allowed to optimize. For all of the calculations, a PPE function was used. The charge of the complex was zero, while the speed multiplicity was two. And then when we inserted um, the copper five inside our titanium dioxide zeolite complex, uh, we notice uh, we observe five geometric five possible geometric or configuration. But the first, the last two was gonna be the mirror image of the first two. Like you can see, four is a mirror image of one, and then five is a mirror image of two. So only the first three were taken, and then they were, and then we put for geometrical optimization. And then after analyzing the results and also checking on the literature, in the literature they specified, or they they, they specified that uh, when copper five bounds with the substrate, it can only give us two geometries which is a planar or a trigonal bipyramidal. And when we are analyzing our results, we only saw that only two configuration fitted the profile, which means geometrical one, and uh, configuration one and configuration two, as it is being shown on the slide. And then these two configuration were taken and also used to study the carbon dioxide reduction. And then here, uh, as you can see on top, uh, the, the top part is where carbon dioxide is being introduced in the complex and then on the bottom it's where carbon dioxide is already been reduced. As you can see, when our copper 5 is a class, when our copper 5 is a planar, there is no tetrahedral uh, interaction between uh, copper, uh, carbon monoxide and oxygen. But when our copper 5 is a trigonal by parameter, there is a tetrahedral uh, interaction between a copper a carbon monoxide and oxygen and then uh, we're gonna we, and then after this we're gonna take these uh, catalysts and then we use them to compare which one will be more effective uh, during application and also we're still gonna take this and also try to get the transition state of each to check which one require less energy because uh, the, the effective catalyst will not require much energy to be used. And then from there, we can also try and check if uh, we're going to try and check if the, uh, in the, the electrode density would be it can affect and stuff. It can affect our uh, uh, the activity of the catalyst and also the electron and the electron density. Uh, can also be a play factor in in the activity and also the NH. Uh, thank you very much.